Josh Ramsey, congratulations on being nominated for uh, Juno for Group of the Year with Mar Marianne's Trench for 2016. How are you feeling about the nomination? Good. I mean, it's uh, it's always it, it's it's awesome to get nominated for anything. Um, you know, I think uh, I, I mean I, I try not really concern myself too much with uh, with trying to win awards and stuff. I'm <laughs> more interested in writing songs, but uh, but it's it's cool when people notice. Yeah, that's awesome. I uh, just wanted to ask about uh, when you were writing the music for Astoria, or before you started writing music for Astoria, uh, your, your mother fell ill, uh, you also fell ill and uh, had some trouble with pancreatitis and uh, broke up with your fiancé. You were in a really bad space, mm -hmm. and uh, I know that you took some time to sort of deal with that. Uh, can you tell me about how that led into the writing process for the album? Yeah, I think um, eventually I kind of had to, like, I sort of put the record on hold at first, um, and uh, it was just, it, that was just one, it was one too many things, you know, um, and I was just, was, I, I, I wasn't focused. Uh, and then I got to a point where I was like, well, the record's got to get done one way or the other, and, uh, you know, I was, I was sort of in the hospital, and, and I was like, look, I, I got to change something, uh, and the only thing I can change is, is I can go, I can go work on this record, so... I just kind of, and I just sort of followed my instincts from there on out, and just was like every little instinct I had, it was just like, okay, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. It was, it was awesome. Wow. So obviously, your instincts led you in a pretty good, in a pretty good way, or a pretty good place when it came to the songwriting. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, it was, I wasn't really concerned with um, singles and like that kind of stuff. I, I, li I really did just, just kind of want to write the record, and I sort of needed, needed to write at the time. Right, I I really enjoy some of the writerly things you do when you when you when you write songs. I'm thinking of one love. Uh, there's the line about you know what if one true love is the only one you get, and that changes when you get into that uh, that set of what ifs in the quiet breakdown part. Yeah. it's like all of a sudden it's sort of like despairing and despairing, and suddenly it becomes the same words become hopeful. Uh, you know, even though they're just the same words. <laughs> yeah, I like to I like to juxtapose things like that. I think um, I think it's fun sometimes to play around with with uh, with with double meanings of things or or uh, you know using the same metaphor three or four times uh, with a different connotation. Yeah, I noticed that that also in uh, working with Jessica Lee and I don't know if it's Steve Marshall, uh, stop and go. There's that same sort of double meaning where you know stop and go as in stopping and starting again inside the relationship and then stop with what you're doing and leave. Just yeah. go. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't, I've never really thought about it. Is this like a thing that I do? I don't know. <laughs>